Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I will discuss about ORM in Bigo framework. Friends, ORM means Object Relational Mapping. It basically acts as a bridge between a programming language and a relational database. So, when we use this ORM, we don't need to use any raw SQL query to perform any operation in the relational database. So basically here I will show you the implementation part of the ORM in Bigo framework. Friends, before that we have to start web server and MySQL server. So here I have started th these two servers in XCMPP. Friends, here I am using XCMPP for the MySQL server because it is very easy to use. After starting these two servers, you have to open your favorite browser and there you have to hit localhost and then go to the phpMyAdmin, there you will find these options. Here, four databases have already been created. You have to create your own database. Here, I have created a database, go underscore demo. If you don't know how to create a database, simply click on this new there you will get option to create the database here you can see that a field is there where you can put the name of the database now simply click in this go underscore demo here you can create table but here i will not show you how we can create the table here using this gui we can create the table with the help of programming language also i will show you that so now let us go to VS code. Here we will write our code. First of all, let us create a file main.go. Now run a command go mod init. Then bgo underscore orm. It will create a go.mod file. Then you have to run the command go mod td. Here nothing will happen. Now uh, we will start writing our code. First of all, let us declare the package main, then import. The first thing that I will import is a log. It will be used to log some data now we will have to import orm package that is available in the bigo so github.com less Then you have to import one more package that is github.com plus go minus sql minus driver slash mysql. Then here you have to declare the model so basically what type of data we want to store in the table we have to declare using the struct data type so type and let us name the model as product then struct keyword then here first of all let us uh, put the name of the first field as int and name uh, as id then second field as name and it will be string then third field price and its data type will be int now let us define a 
function init this init init function uh, runs uh, first when we run the main function and we don't have to call it uh, as uh, an explicit function so it will be called implicitly init here first of all you have to register the model so register model new product then you have to register the database orm dot register database default then you have to mention the driver name mysql and then you have to mention the configuration string for the database so first of all you have to mention the username then at the rate here basically we are not using any password so let us keep it blank then the name of the database who underscore demo if you hover this you can see that uh, actually currently it is not working so first of all we have to again run the command go mod td when we run this command it will show something like this finding module for this then it is showing that found this module now if you hover this you can see all the information of this function register database setting the database connect params use the database driver self data source arguments so this way we can register the database now we have to run the sync db command every time so if we make any change in this structure so this change will be reflected in the database for that we have to call another function that is run sync db now let us define main function here first of all you have to create an object orm then let us create an object of product model to so product let us name it as third then price as happy then uh, we can perform any operation so first of all if we want to perform insert operation so for that simply we have to call this my orm dot insert but uh, here you have to pass this as reference so uh let us change it to lower case then product 
now it will return two things the first thing is the result and the second thing is the error now we have to handle the error if error is not equal to nil so in that case log dot total error dot error otherwise we can simply print the result log dot print ln result so this way we can uh, insert the data into the into this uh, table here it is showing some uh, uh, error basically uh, we have to i think remove this now i think everything is fine so now let us run this uh, function to run this function uh, we we have to run the command go run main dot go but before that let us clear this window now run the command go run main dot go here we can see the information create table if not exist and then uh, uh, basically uh, this is creating a table then this message is showing like uh, uh, one so basically it is uh, saying that the data has been inserted now we can check whether the data has been successfully inserted or not in the uh, php my admin page so let us go to php my admin page here first of all we have to click on this when we click this we can see that this product table has been created if we click on this product table we can see the data that we have inserted in this id is 1 name is cert and then price is 30 so here we have not passed id uh, like uh, any option here so in Bigo, we also have the uh, like option to pass some options here. Like if you want to make uh, this name as primary key, we can uh, uh, do, do that also. If you want to make uh, this as nullable or not nullable, we can pass all those options also. I will discuss all those things in uh, a separate video. Uh, but uh, for now, let us uh, keep this simple and uh, this way we can simply insert the data into the database now suppose if we want to uh, delete the data from the database so for that we can simply call this uh, delete method for that first of all let us uh, let us uh, change this function itself so delete and then simply call uh, that command again go run main dot go so when we run this command um we can see that table product already exists because it is uh, trying to create another table with the same name, same name that's why it is showing this message then this met, met message has been printed that is zero so now let us again go to browser and see what happened there when we refresh this we can see that data is still there so data has not been deleted to delete the data we have to uh, pass the id basically here so id now again run this code and this time we can see that the message uh, is one so uh, again if you go to the browser and refresh this we can see that data has been deleted so this way we can perform different operations uh, on the table we can also uh, update some data and we can also read the data from the database so this way uh, we can do the uh, operations on the database if we want to add some more field here we can do that also by simply passing 
uh, some another field like uh, uh, suppose if you want to pass another uh, field as uh, let's, let us make this as weight obviously it is not a good example but let us keep it as weight then the data type as int and again if we run the command go run main dot go and uh, let us make it again as insert and then here let us pass some data like name as uh, insert then size as 30 and weight as 1 and again if you run this command go run main dot go we can see the information table product already exists to so escape this step and then add column weight for table product and then this uh, SQL query has been run and then we can see the message uh, this too so now if you go to browser and check that table simply click on this and we can see that ID is 2 and uh, the data has been inserted so this way we can uh, change the structure in the table also with this uh, function so i think this video uh, will be helpful for you that's all for this video thanks